Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Mystery Arts, Inc. I'm your host, Jake, as always, here to provide you with the best in the world of mentalism, magic, and the allied mystery arts. So whether you're the bizarre mentalist that people don't understand, or you're the interpret fire eater, hey, you've got a welcome home here. And I just want to thank you so much for tuning in today. Today, to get cut down to brass tacks here, we're going to be covering the PETA smart memo pad. I know what you're thinking right now. It's been out for a while. It's already been discussed at length. Why are we doing a review now? Well, the truth is I do reviews a little bit later than most and the reason is simple. I like to have my hands on something for a little while to make an actual informed decision and give more insights, more tips, more tricks, and that's what we're gonna do today. So to give you an idea of what we're gonna cover in this video, one, we're gonna cover what's in the box. I've completely just repackaged the thing. We're gonna cover what's been my experience. To give you some idea here, I have had some technical difficulties with my first PETA pad. Actually, this is my second one, which uh, PETA was nice enough to send this out as well as uh, when I first bought their leather case, as uh, we kind of know. They sent me uh, one of the ones that didn't have the magnet on the right side, which is actually this one right here. And, uh, you know, that was, as to quote Jimi Hendrix, that ain't too cool. So I'm going to kind of cover my experience of that. How was their customer service? What have they added to it since it's come out? Because they really have fixed a lot of the issues I had initially with my unboxing video, which you can view right, uh, I believe, right there. And what's what's been my experience and how am I using this thing and how have my opinions changed on it since day one to now where I've had it for two months I've got a new pad that being said roll that intro and let's get right into it what is the pita pad the pita pad is essentially the ultimate answer in my opinion that I know of so far to the impression pad. Uh, I've had different impression pads over the years, uh, cipher, things with magic slate in them, and they've never replaced my good old friends a stack of billets or business cards. And uh, that's a shame because I've always wanted to love them, but I've never really been able to fall in love with them and utilize them regularly. For those of you who have Cypher out there and have had the experience of, you know, you have your Cypher and a deck of cards, um, your person does their thing and the impression doesn't go through the box because, you know, the magnet's too weak or the Cypher material's kind of shit. You know how I feel. Or if you've put it into a notepad and you've not got your impression through that, there, and now you're having to wing it and hope that it works. The problem with impression pads generally for me is this, right? While we can do like a center tear or something with anything, really, if we put our mind to it and we put our expertise to it, at the same time, it's not always the optimum way out, right? And while it's there is always some good outs for it, I it just never scratched the itch for me, right? And enter here the, the pita pad. I, I got this thing basically, again, just to have a disclaimer. I didn't necessarily get it for free, but Illusionist did send me this. And rather than have it as just a free product sent to me, I said, hey guys, let's make a deal because I, I want to support the company and make things worthwhile for you. So instead of just sending this for free and asking for free, how about we do an exchange and my affiliate money can go to pay for this pad. That being said, if you do want to get this wonderful item after you've watched this review from Illusionist for $55 off just for this product, but you also get 10% off your whole order at illusionist if you actually use the link down below or coupon code jacob michaels here you will be able to get 10 percent off not just uh, the pita pad but your entire order at illusionist so those you're on the fence that are like it's too expensive it's blah, blah blah i do know illusionist offers really great financing through things like afterpay and affirm and different things uh paypal pay later or paypal credit is a godsend with this because it turns basically for those of you out there they're looking at this like oh 550 dollars or 500 dollars 495 dollars even with the discount that's too much you can pay that off over six months and that's a cool trick i've used to buy you know really expensive items in my production company and softwares and different things over the years in an affordable way so enough about that stuff though let's launch into actually what's in the box here so first things first let's take a look at what we've got here so the box first off is beautifully designed i really like the packaging on this and if you'll excuse me a minute i'm a little underprepared i'm gonna stick that over our secret code so as i open this up you know we obviously don't have that when you open the box um, i didn't get these initially but they were kind enough when they resent me out a new pad and a uh, new 
Leather Folio, I said, hey, I didn't get these stickers either, and they provide me these stickers. So far, to my knowledge, every single person has got these stickers. I was the only one. <laughs> which is kind of funny. But they, again, made it right, and they were really good. I'm really happy with uh, PETA's customer service. When you open it up, you have a small bag of, uh, you know, extras, knickknacks, extra ink refills, you get some blue tack, you get some shimming material, a device here that's uh, used to basically easily extract when you're refilling the pen. Uh, you get the pad itself. This thing is pretty damn compact. This is what you get out of the box. I have stripped my other one out of its casing. I'll show you that soon. It has a really nice magnetic on and off switch so you can see with magnet off. If you can see in there, let's see, there's a blue light in there. It's difficult to see wrapped up. Um, but then I put that back on, you know, it effectively turns it off, means it's ready to go. So if you, that's why in something like the PETA leather pad, having the magnet uh, in here is so great so that when you basically have it in and you close it up your p your pad goes off you open it up and the pad comes on and I'll go into as well I I like this pad right here this leather folio but I have replaced it with something else that I personally like better and fits me better that being said let's look here the pad itself is really it's it's a piece of art it looks beautiful before you like the moment you pull it out and it's wrapped up in this nice material so it's protected we'll kind of go into that the other side of things actually I'll grab my other one here this is my original one I still have in here but there were some uh, battery issues and charging issues with it I did request another one and they were kind enough to send it to me after I kind of, they tried to help diagnose me but outside of the uh, uh, the material which it's very important this is very sensitive like this you do have the pad so you can see in this case the blue light is on blinking meaning it's not connected to a phone like I said this one is great it's just I had some battery issues with it where it wasn't charging properly and I'm being very careful because if we touch anything metal to uh, the motherboard here it will short it so I want to make sure I'm being really delicate with this here and uh, you know that being said I I'm gonna go ahead and gently place this uh, aside here here in an envelope, which we will get back to why this is kind of a cool thing later. So I'm gonna put that in an envelope so it's nice and safe, and we'll put that aside and come back to it later. So that's the pad itself. This is this is the device. Here's a standard size playing card. It's just a little tiny smidge bigger, and it's only a smidge bigger really because there's that backing on it. When you compare it against the uh, you know the stripped down version, which I will pull it back out here, so you can see, being very gentle to not hit those rings. Um, you'll see that it's, again, just a little bit bigger, but not much bigger than a playing card. So there's there's that image for you for reference. So a little bit bigger, and you could probably get away even with shaving those sides off. Uh, don't do that, because I don't know if that's a fact or not. Join the PETA group and see if that's something you can do or not, because obviously if this is that's not the case of this, you're going to ruin it. It's obviously a very compact device, really, really nice. It connects extremely fast to the phone. Um, I would love to be able to show you guys what the phone connection's like, but I've already covered that in a previous video, which you can uh, find right here, I believe. I should pop up right there, that card. They'll have my unboxing video that uh, a lot of people got really, really upset that I did, so I decided to make it more unlisted. So if you want to see an in-depth live unboxing of this from the first one, that's where you can see that. But you get that guy. You have our pin here, which I know a lot of you, the biggest gripe you're going to have, which I have a similar gripe, but for something like this with, uh, say, more of a notepad, I think it's better for this. This fixes the problem I think it ha the PETA pad had. Uh, this pin, which feels really nice, feels and looks like a metal pin. As you can see, the stickers that come with it go over the top to block where the charging receptacle is. Um, and to activate it, you just give it a tap and then that will basically activate the pen, wake it up. It doesn't pair with the pad. It does some other proprietary technology, so you don't have to worry about it pairing with the pad or anything. It's very quick and effective to use and very reliable, you know, as long as you don't get in the situation I had where you ha I had a pad that was uh, having some difficulty charging. Uh, when we go into the box here and look at the next level, you know, this is the actual, what I took, this is when it comes off of the, uh, when it comes out of this shell, you know, this is the backing you remove from it along with this plastic, uh, rubber, rubber plastic coating here, which is good to keep this on if you're 
kind of a Butterfingers like me. Like for me, the other one I've got, the, 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 there's like for me, I removed the other one because obviously it's, it's a defective product anyway. But testing it out, I am going to take this one out of its package and let it live in some of the places we're going to talk about in this. So we're going to talk about how the best way I found to put this in deck of cards so you don't have to take off those 16 cards uh, like in advertising the video. We're going to talk about the pad I use. We're going to talk about another way to do a 40T with this, a fourth dimensional telepathy, making this envelopes. It's really cool. I covered that in the live as well, but I'm going to cover it here because I've expanded on it. But that's this is basically not normally in the package. It's normally right here inside of this, but I have it in here for safekeeping. You do get a second magnet as well in this package in your little startup kit. But again, I've got them on here just for safekeeping with some blue tech. So in the next level down, normally what you have in here is this in this position. I just switch them around. This is a notepad obviously with an opening here so you can put your pad in there and then secure it down with this stickiness and then people can do their impression and just you know write like this and then you've clocked everything while you're doing that right it is wireless charging which i think is really cool i love the wireless charging aspect to it this is super neato i can say that it charges pretty quickly you just literally take that place it on top you get your confirmation light bada boom bada bang boom, you're good to go after about an hour or two of charging, and that gives you about uh, 10 hours or so of uh, active use. And that's really good, because I've tested it since getting this new one, and I can say and vouch that 10 hours is pretty damn accurate. I think it's, maybe it's seven hours for this, maybe it's 10 for the pen, somewhere along there, but you get lots of hours of usage out of it, that's great. And obviously the pen automatically turns off until you reactivate it with the press, so it lasts pretty well. And then this guy, as long as you've got the magnet off switch on it, it'll keep a pretty good battery in standby mode. It will handle pretty well. So that's basically the what's in the box. And as you can see, we've got some really good packaging here. I like what they've done with it. It looks very pretty. The secret instructions are covered right here with this sticky note, but that's where you basically get your download that has all of the technical stuff. There are no real tricks or effects or anything, just technical notes in the download. It is pretty well done. It's nothing, no performances or anything. It's only just kind of a uh, cut and dry. This is the technical stuff to how this works. This is the best use practices, et cetera, et cetera. That's basically what's in the box. Now on the side of, if you were like me and were an early adopter and you got one of these guys with it, this is really useful, this uh, leather pad. Some of you will love this, some of you hate this. It's really brilliant what they've done here. So to give you an idea, this is the one that has the mat. You can see the difference between the one I got as a replacement and then the one that I had that the magnet on the wrong side. And the reason they gave for this is like, oh, we changed, you know, after our Kickstarter, we changed things. Uh, honestly, they just shouldn't have sent this out. They just should not have sent the one with the magnet on the wrong side out and went, oh, I'll just put a magnet on this side. I did that. I put a sticky little bar magnet in here for a while. Uh, now I've removed it and actually placed it uh, inside of my pad that I actually use for it here. This is an Amazon pad to give you an idea. We'll get back to this when we kind of go over some of the things I've added to this that are different. But the this is kind of your package contents when you get it with it. And you also obviously get a notepad here that just slips right on in there so your 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 PETA device goes in here and then you just slip it in there and it is nice that it's perforated up here so they're easy to tear off you can see I've gone through some sheets here as I've used it and like that I think the only thing I don't like about this is why even on the new one I don't know why they did this they put the what look this looks like for all intents and purposes the right side to open the pad up and it's obviously not that's not the correct side you want it to, you have to open it this way but for me why would you not just put the logo and this thing on this side. Why why not? Why why would you just why why not? That's the only that's one of my gripes I still have is this is great, this is beautiful, I like it a lot. I'm not using it. One, because while the brown is nice for some people, it's not for me. Two, I don't like the fact that it's confusing on which side you're supposed to open it from. And three, this is actually a little bit too big dimensionally for me versus the one I ended up using while being a little bit taller is a little bit thinner and this can easily live into a side pocket in a pair of jeans or wherever. I, I just like this cheaper pad more personally. If you really like this style, definitely get it. If not, whatever but what i like about this too is this takes while the pita while the pita leather holders can take obviously any kind of notepad what i like about this is when i bought this for 15 bucks <laughs> i got a refill pack that was tremendous for it and again we'll get into that later this is gonna be a long video i can already tell so that being said that's essentially what's in the box and uh what's included 
to give you an idea. Now, friends, I know already kind of what I was thinking when I was looking into this. I'm a guy that came from a, like I said, frustrated stance on impression pads and kind of given up on them and kind of stopped buying them, really, right? Because I've been disappointed and burned too many times. Cypher's still an expensive device at $50 a pop. $550, holy crap, this thing better work. And I'm happy to say it does. It's outside of the scope of this review right now, I think, to go through and show you the app in action, but you can see that app in action again at the live unboxing I talked about earlier. If you go on my page, you can find it. I've made it so you can find it that way. Or like I said, there's a card earlier you could click on to see that. Above all else, you know, they've done a lot of really great work. So my big gripes in that unboxing was, why are they not kind of explaining how the app works? Why are they not doing this? And PETA listened. <laughs> PETA listened really, really intently, and they fixed a lot of the issues that I had initially within the app. So now we have things like, uh, to give you an idea too, and I think this is a really cool function they don't talk enough about. Let's say you had somebody, they had their uh, notepad and they and you had your PETA in there. Obviously don't use it like this, this is dumb, but, and they, they write their thing, they, you know, they've got their information, but you realize, oh shit, it's, it's, while it's on, it hasn't been connected to my phone yet, or I forgot to connect it to the, the PETA app via Bluetooth. Well, what do I do? Well, the cool thing is, it will still hold that information, and the moment you connect with the pad to the phone, which is very quick, it will then, boop, populate and show you that information. The other side too is since getting this, I bought an Apple Watch for utilization with this and other Magic apps. The Apple Watch interface on this is super good. You can pretty much clearly see exactly what you see on the screen on the phone, what they've written, the whole nine yards. Now, other things, if you happen to have a pair of AirPods, or if you have a hidden listening device that compares via Bluetooth to your phone, not, uh, it's very effective, it's almost scary effective. When somebody writes a, a word, a phrase, they could write a whole quote from a song or whatever, this thing will take its AI that's built into the app, which I'm sure they've had an API key and put into the app itself. For those who don't know API, it basically bridges the connection and blah, 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 egghead talk. What they've basically done is this thing will recognize basically what the text is, and then it will send over a voice to go into your earpiece. So if they write, the cat sat on the mat, you'll hear the voice go, the cat sat on the mat. How cool is that? How freaking cool is that, man? It works really well, too. Now, there have been a few things that people have griped about, and uh, now that I've had some time with the pad, I've realized these are people being, how to put it, these are the people that they, they, they're not they're not they're not exploring enough of the capabilities of the pad because they're saying oh well it's connection issues oh it, it can't pick up it's not a big deal dude like just like when you if you forgot to pair it with a thing and they write it all you have to do is get close enough to them or close enough to the device for it to connect and it will instantly pull the information so people going on, this is unreliable because of that. Unless there's a technical difficulty wrong with your pad like I had originally. This one's been working great, by the way, even though, I, like I said, I am going to take this out of its plastic wrapping because while I didn't like that initially where I was like, oh man, there's just, I'm a butterfingers. There's too much of a chance of me hitting it with a ring or something on that motherboard and breaking it. I've realized that, you know, this thing's going to kind of live in either A, this notepad right here, or B, which you're gonna be really excited about, I have figured out the ultimate solution to not having to take 16, 12 to 16 cards out of a deck of cards and still fit it in a card box. It's a special card box, actually, which uh, I got from my friends at San Diego Magic. I'll link, it's linked down below in the comments. Hey there, guys. Editor Jake here. I want to quickly just say, uh, I had a whole section in here where I was breaking down how I put it in the box, all this... Uh, other stuff, there's the 40T in here and everything as well. Um, but I realized something. I realize this video is already probably going to get some of the jobs out there. The people that are toy collectors and overly obsessed and think that people really do the research and care that much about their uh, mentalism toys. I realize that uh, while I don't agree with them, I do respect their opinion. And I realize that was, uh, this, this video would be something that really pissed them off. So, that being said... I've decided to cut this section out of the video, condense it, make it shorter, and if you are an investor and you do buy it, I'm going to make a cut of this video where I break this down into the uh, PETA group on Facebook, so that way every purchaser can have access to it, and we have verified buyers on there and people 
that get the information that actually own it for one of taking the investment but also we're not doing as much exposure here which i don't think we're doing really an exposure here like unless they're searching for PETA pad uh i think we're good if you disagree with me that's cute uh but i i i respectfully while i respect your opinion um, there's no need to voice it, uh, and, I, and I get it. So, that being said, you will be able to have the other version of this video in the PETA group. That being said, let's go back to the video here, and I'll see you here soon, okay? Uh, I recommend you buy them. They're very inexpensive, like four or five bucks a pop. Buy a few, because card box obviously wear down, but they're slightly fatter than a normal deck of cards, which compensates perfectly for the pita pad. I will say I have heard the, the Palm Peaker, while supposedly a dream in theory, has not been a dream in practice. Again, I don't, I don't really have an interest in getting a Palm Peaker. I like using my Apple Watch. Um, I haven't heard amazing things about that, except for one person who is the gentleman who's kind enough to give us a lot of tips on that live unboxing video. So moral of the story, this thing has a powerhouse it has lots and lots and lots of things it can do. I feel like I've rambled on too long about this. Um, you know, that being said, what are your thoughts on some of the ideas and the different things presented here? Would you be someone that would prefer to have it in a notepad? Would you be somebody that prefer to have it in, say, like a, um, you know, deck of cards like I presented? Would you be the person using a 4DT? Or do you have a unique and different idea that's completely different than this that's going to blow my mind and really, really be, you know, amazing? So please do share, have a conversation. You know, if you don't want to have a discussion here about methodology related stuff, please feel free to add me on to at jedi.shit on Instagram. That's right, at jedi.shit, because that's what we do is some, that's what I do is some real Jedi shit in the real life. Add me on there and we can have a discussion that way. I love it when people message me and obviously have great ideas. So moral of the story, let's round this out here. Who is this for? Who is this $500, $550, or $495 again if you Use the coupon code down below and get it from Illusionist. Who is this monster for? This, I would say, is really for more of a professional, I would say, than just your hobbyist. That being said, I think it's still within the price range where hobbyists can appreciate it. You know, because me being a hobbyist myself and not somebody who does this professionally, am I bringing the, the pita pad out with me everywhere I go? No. But when I'm out doing some business or prospecting work, it's really easy for me to have this guy with me because it makes sense. I literally will just take notes with it. I'll just take notes because it looks nice. And, and the funny thing is, here's, here's another idea for some of you out there that I was thinking about the other day. This is a memory blending idea because as you guys know that watch this channel, that tune in, that you know, like the videos, comment, you subscribe, you hit the bell, which, oh yeah, by the way, you should totally do that if you found this valuable so far. Mm, see what I did there? But say that you are doing readings for somebody. You're doing psychic readings, or you're doing readings in general. Maybe you're just revealing information. One of the things I realized the other day is, if you use something like a pad like this, how do you make it fit into that? Well, it's really simple. What I've been testing and doing is, what I'll do is I'll deliver a reading, I'll do kind of Luke Germay's psychic shorthand. For those of you that don't have that, that's in From the Notebooks. It says volume one, but there's never a volume two. Luke, I'd love to see volume two from the notebooks. You just write down your initial impressions on here, and then maybe you go into, say, the star sign anagram, and you reveal their star sign. You write that on there, right? And when it gets to the point where you're like, okay, I'm there's something here I'm picking up on, you know, but I think it's shrouded by doubt, because I think, and listen, it's okay to be honest with me. I think while... A lot of the stuff I've picked up from you, you're amazed by it and you can't believe I'm able to get into your world. There's still something in the back of your mind holding you back from just really believing in this. Really believing that we are connecting. May, may I ask what that is? Okay, and why is that important? This is a listening criteria. So what you do is you go, okay, so I'll tell you what. If I were able to absolutely prove without a reason of a doubt that our minds are deeply connected, and I can, we can receive each other's thoughts with a little bit of effort and empathy, where would that take you on your level of certainty about what you've experienced today? 
well, that would take me out at 10, for example, or whatever their thing is. If it doesn't take them to a 10, I then say, okay, well, what would take you to a 10? Like an absolute certainty thing. Basically, whatever they say, like if they say it's an outrageous, obviously, who cares? But then you can reframe and say, I'll tell you, what if I say, for example, we did it in reverse? So I'll tell you what, take the pad, and I want you to think of the name of somebody that you haven't thought of in a very long time. You see what I'm doing here? And then they write it down. I take it back, they write it down, they hold on to it, I catch my peak on the watch, or on the phone, whatever you're going to do, or in the earpiece. And the great thing is here that, uh, and I know what you're thinking, what's the point of all this? The point of this is this, because it's been, you write stuff down, you write stuff down, you write stuff down, now they write stuff down, and then I give, they rip off a piece of paper and keep it, with their psychic impressions and maybe write a little sentimental note at the end all of Peter Turner or whatever. What's cool is it blends that memory a bit more. It blends it more. So they forget themselves writing it down. They forget that they did it. What they more remember is you wrote all this stuff down and you nailed this thing out. So you can even if you want to scribble out what they wrote down and rewrite it underneath it, that way it even solidifies even more. So now they go to this piece of paper and the more they look at it, the more it solidifies that memory that they didn't write anything down, you wrote and revealed everything down because you've done that the whole time and the only time that you didn't do that, you've covered it. And then you finish the little, you, you get what I'm saying here. It's important again, above anything else, it doesn't matter the method. And this doesn't have to be for the pita pad either. So for those of you who've got to the end here, this is a piece of gold. I promise you, use it. It's freaking great. But anything you have, whether you're using a cipher, whether you're using a billet, whatever, if you write your impressions and then flip and give them the thing you're writing your impressions on, I'm right under it, it blends that memory so at that point they're not really sure when they think back whether or not they wrote anything down or not. They can misremember it a lot easier and have the tangible thing in their hands to misremember that Wow, so I sat with this guy, he gave me his impressions, it was incredible, he revealed my star sign too, like what the hell, and shit, and then after that I thought about the name, uh, he, he, he questioned whether he detected that I wasn't fully a believer and he wrote down the name, uh, and he wrote, uh, I thought of the name of my friend and he wrote it down and nailed it dead out. That's, see, it's right here. You catch what I'm saying? It's really, really great. So for those of you who made it to this very end of this long video, hopefully this makes it worth it. So all that being said, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Again, who is this for? This is, I think, more for professionals, but because it's not $1,500, like say, the uh, lab co stuff i think amateurs can get into this too again if you do want to snag this guy from illusionist for 10 percent off that's a whopping 55 dollars not just this but actually your whole entire order so it can actually be more than that uh use the coupon code jacob michaels or the link down below here i would say for this because it's so expensive you can also use their financing options to your advantage i make again pardon my french but make paypal uh credit my bitch and 495 dollars over six months it's a drop in the bucket compared to the fun you'll have with this. So definitely check that out. I highly recommend this. PETA has been really, really good about their customer service. Obviously, I had it issued my original pad. They sent me one out straight from China right away. Then they also remedied my qualms and my issues I had with them sending me the wrong leather folio. They sent me the right one with the magnet on the right side out the gate. They've really done well to make things right. I didn't get include the stickers. They sent me those as well, finally. This all around is just a really great thing. I, I can tell you from this, I am honestly this close, even though I know I would never really use it because I'm not much of a stage or platform performer anymore. I just do social close up and, and readings and stuff. I am so, so tempted to get that whiteboard as well. And a cool discovery someone found, by the way, for those of you that have the whiteboard, um, the whiteboard marker, from my understanding, works with the memo pad as well. You can use that whiteboard marker and use that. For those of you who are craving having a marker, a Sharpie instead of a pen like this, which again, I think a pen like this is more justified when we're dealing with something like having it on in say a memo pad or a notepad. You know, the pen is a lot better looking thing and looks a little bit more pro and nice and common. Versus if you had say a Sharpie in something like this, like this, uh, or like this, I don't think it looks as good. I think the difference is why it doesn't look quite, why a Sharpie would look better with something like this guy and like the um, pads like this is because obviously it's a little wider, there's no lines on it, but the way to simply justify this pen really easily and effectively is use, use, a, use a pad that has lined paper. 
Lined paper, mean pen. You don't see people writing with Sharpie on like a paper like this typically. It's just not, it's just not done, you know? It, it goes against what we learned in school and everything else. So hopefully that makes sense. That being said, thank you all so much if you've made it to this point for tuning in. I really hope there is some amazing value here and we've been able to deliver. I've been incredibly busy these last few weeks and I've wanted to make more and more videos. You can see here, this is just a one take cut and dry, super simple video with minimal editing. And the reasoning's simple. I'm so incredibly busy that I just, I just almost don't have time. I'm trying to sit here and do multiple videos tonight because it's raining outside. I've got my work done for the day. It's about 10, 15 at night. I normally go to bed at 10 o'clock. So I'm doing my best to push this content out and basically provide you all value here. And if there was value again in this video, please do give it a like. You know, I highly suggest you subscribe and tell more people about this. Feel free to share this channel if there's value here. And, uh, you know, obviously comment down below. What are your thoughts? What are your feelings? Was there anything in this video that really stood out to you and really really, really you found to be beneficial, please do let me know. It makes me feel good and better and encourages me to make more videos like this and provide you all more information. If you want to know not just reviews, but ideas and things that you can actually take and use in psychology and all of that kind of stuff, which again, I want to make more videos on that side without being in a review here soon. But if you want that kind of stuff with it, this is the only place you're going to get it. I'm not here to simply just give a, give a, product review, I want to make sure you walk away and you have like ideas that the creator of the product might have not had, period, and add value to you in the best possible way along the way. So that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. I'll catch you on the old double lift side. Cheers.